What's going on everybody? Welcome for the first time back to another DLJ Works video and jumping right into it. What this video is about today is as you saw in the thumbnail, why YouTubers or videographers, even if you're not on YouTube, should have their own video on demand platform. And I'm also going to I'm going to talk about Patreon too. This is going to bleed into that a little bit. Because right now as of late, I've been working really heavy with the Vimeo TT and Uscreen platform. But this is actually going to be favored more into you screens favor and i'm going to show you why here in a second but watch if you're a youtuber why should you have a video on demand platform and instead of a patreon why should a video on demand platform be a secondary consideration turn to a primary consideration hopefully rather than having a patreon all right uh i wrote down three short reasons i want to try to keep this video as short as possible there are as many more reasons that i could throw at you to really persuade you here but let, let's just focus on these right now. Number one, YouTube is not your platform. Now, you hear a lot of people talk about, and I'm a big fan of Roberto Blake. If you don't know who he is, he's a creative entrepreneur right here on YouTube. But he's always talked about just having your own website. But I'm gonna actually take that a step further. Let's say, for example, the website that you want to have, you're not trying to blog on it. You're not trying to write content or anything like that. You're still just trying to do what you do best, and that's make videos. So why not make it a video on demand platform if you're trying to actually have your own video hosting website if you're still just trying to do videos you're still just trying to make really good visual content then you screen is going to be the best choice for you but we all know that youtube has these rising limitations you have no control over your community i mean you do but let me just say it like this youtube is not your platform youtube does give you things that you're able to be able to really engage with your your fan base and everything else but you're at the mercy of youtube's algorithm you're at the mercy of their own controls their terms of service i don't need to go down a list you're, you're at their mercy if you're using their platform so with youtube you have all these rising limitations with the rise of censorship other things all those things are going to be they're going to end up being roadblocks for you all right they're going to be roadblocks for you number two you can take your growing true fan base and have them support you individually on your own site number three limited customization control on patreon now let me let me go back to number two real fast take your growing fan base and have them support you individually that's where the whole patreon element comes in at but we're going to talk about the limitations even with patreon when you're trying to actually have your own community you can actually simply have your own email list this is th this video is to serve the purpose to try to just show you something different that may actually give you more control i'm actually give you a case study in this case of somebody that actually said that they they found that they hit a ceiling when they had their own patreon and they actually had to go to a video hosted platform to continue to do what they're doing and it's something you may want to consider especially if you're an athlete you're an entertainment maker you, you even have your own educational content you may actually hit some ceilings when it actually comes to patreon all right and that's where it comes in a limited limited customization control on patreon so let me show you this website this website right here is a yoga website um boho beautiful they actually had their own patreon at one point in time but they actually made the transition over to you screen but why did they do that why did they not stay on patreon as popular as it is well, if we take a look here, if everything I could actually show you with this website, they have a lot of video content categorized, organized by days in terms of the actual steps that people could actually go through when it comes to doing these yoga classes and other trainings that's on here. Um, everything is, is under their control in terms of the, the style, the sense the character the personality of the website is all under their control that you could tell where you land on here it belongs to boho beautiful and a great thing about this is and i know this is built on a you screen platform i could tell just by the actual type of templatization that's being used but there is no you screen branding on this at all and you can actually um, take the you screen branding off through some code if you know that or go through you screen themselves actually have them remove the um their branding for you but i think that's an agreement you have to actually come with the platform in terms of having that done but in any case you can actually see that you can actually see that they have their own unique website right now all right this is strictly for 
streaming purposes so this is the temp type of template that you see here resonates or resembles some sort of well i would say netflix but it's unique in its own right but it's their own streaming platform with their own content and that's what that's the, that's going to be the beauty about this when you're talking about having your own website you just don't want to have a, a website just a general website where it's just going to be your traditional blog set up you have your home page you have your about, all those things. You want to get right to the point. We take a look at this. They've got the home link. There are videos that you can click into. Sign in if you're a subscriber. You see the locks on here that shows that these videos are actually locked unless you're an actual paying subscriber. Even if I click on it, you have to get access in order to watch it. But you can actually take a look at all of this and just tell by the way that it's organized and set up. It's going to be able to fit if you're an actual content creator, video content creator, and you're trying to have your own, not only just your own community, but your whole establishment, Uscreen is going to be the right platform for you for that. Now, why did they leave Patreon? And we're, we're actually, let me go down and we'll actually kind of work backwards here. So I'm going to read this. This is coming off of Uscreen's blog listing here. No, no sense in reinventing the wheel, but I want to just use the information that's on here. So Boho Beautiful started as a YouTube channel about yoga wellness and veganism which has grown to have more than 2.2 million subscribers the duo used to have their supporters financially contribute to them over on patreon but when they decided to run a seven-day yoga retreat they knew the platform wasn't cut out for their needs they began to migrate their audience over to you screen and have sorted their yoga videos together in catalogs that are hosted directly on their websites now what does this mean when it says they knew the platform wasn't cut out for their needs what what does that mean? Patreon, you be able to upload your own content. Oh, Patreon, but yeah, that's where I, that's where I, when I actually mentioned limited customization control on Patreon, that's where this issue, this problem comes in at. And we can go on Patreon right now and take a look at this moment. And I got it up on Colin's last stand, another huge fan of his. He's been with Patreon for a while, so it's serving his needs. So if Patreon serving is serving your needs, by all means, stick with the platform, but if you're finding that you're hitting the ceiling, you need, you have limited customization, then that's going to be a huge issue. And even right here, even as simple as the user interface is, it's, it's kind of like, okay, well, if I'm paying like $2 per month, you know, I and I can see everything that I'm going and there's five levels and everything else. Um, but how is this, how is this information organized? Me being a guest, how can I actually just view some of the things on here to actually get me intrigued unless i'm not already following you on some other platform to kind of get an idea of that what if i was just on patreon i was trying to search for certain things or or certain pieces of content by a certain creator you have you have to actually search for the creator first and then land on their uh, website now if i wanted to search information and search to see what they have I, i'm not really familiar with yoga i don't get into all the yoga stuff but if i was to look for um let me see i guess chakras let me see if they have any information but that would pop up all right so nothing was found but the fact that i could actually search for material and search for um several different things if i'm well you know suited for yoga or whatnot then i'll be able to just simply type that in and search it all you know and then category start your retreat here everything else all right so there's filters that you can enter. The uh, screen allows you so many customization controls in order to help you find the stuff that you need. Whereas on Patreon, it's just very linear. You have to scroll. If I wanted to look for its older post, like I would have to like sit up here and just, I, I would have to literally scroll for days just trying to look for like older posts or, or something along those lines. See all 1,637 posts. I mean, we're, we're talking about a long time of scrolling just to look for that. Whereas if you had your own Uscreen platform, your own Uscreen video hosting website, you can organize everything by dates, by the time it was uploaded, uh, whatever category and, and collection you want to actually put these things in, you can actually do that with your own video hosting platform. So when they migrated their stuff over there, choosing Uscreen to host their video content means they, they can simplify their processes. Exclusive membership content is hosted on the exact same website that payment is made. And that's that's one of the things I wanted to actually point out. Now, let's actually take a look at in terms of how Uscreen has already made those comparisons, um, them versus actual Patreon. And they don't take anything away from Patreon. If Patreon is serving your needs, great. But here goes some things to just kind of keep in mind in terms of 
your growth being limited on Patreon. All right. In terms of your, your customization expansion, your flexibility is what's going to be limited. You can have as much content on Patreon possibly as you want to. It could be a, a, a limitless well, but that's the problem. It's a well. Wells just go down, just straight down. And they just go deep until they're, you hit the bottom. And uh, maybe eventually you'll never hit the bottom. But that's the whole point. So let's see here. Your audience. Here's what creators who move from Patreon to us here at Uscreen have said. Your audience will always go to Patreon for your content, not your own branded website. All right. So you can have all the benefits of Patreon, basically, in terms of people coming to view your content, but not have but have all these ex, extra access to controls, all these customization features that you can actually need. You need to have accounts in other places like YouTube for videos or SoundCloud for podcasters who want to have an RSS feed. There's no search. I just talked about there's no search function for your feed on Patreon. So your supporters will need to scroll back through your content like great where you got years of video. So I just said that. All right. Supporters can only sign up for a monthly subscription. But on Uscreen, you can actually offer not that I'm already logged into my back end. Um, this is the back end that I actually have, but you can actually create, if I go to subscriptions, you can actually create, and I have it here in my demo side, either a monthly subscription, which I have listed here for $4.99. This is all demo. None of this is live for me because I use this for training and tutorial purposes or an annual plan. You could either like choose between monthly or annual. You have full control over the payment process, the pricing process for your customers. And that's going to be the beauty about it. All right. Supporters can only sign up for a monthly subscription. One off payments technically possible or technically possible requires a lot of effort from the supporter to sign up and then later cancel. All right. The fees are a percentage of your income. So that amount you pay is uncapped. There's no option to pay a fixed fee for the services you get from Patreon. That's another huge issue. All right. Supporters who use Patreon often report finding content that goes against the terms of service of their own moral compass. You don't get control over who you share an online space with. All right. So there are some clear drawbacks, yet there are more than 200,000 creators receiving support from Patreon. Here's how much it costs them. Uh, let me go back here real quick. Supporters who use Patreon often find content that goes against the terms of service or their own moral compass. You don't get control over who you share an online space with. So when it says those supporters and how the actual creator is actually monitoring that content. You don't, you don't really get to filter out as a supporter, as a viewer. All right. If you're a supporter and you're viewing this content, you just something you just don't want to see. You don't have any control over that. All right. So let's also go through the pricing model. Patreon's pricing model is based on a percentage of your total earnings rather than a fixed fee. The light plan takes a 5% cut unless you have a creator page, communicate with your supporters and access workshops hosted by the platform. For an 8% fee, the pro plan adds an interior price and analytics tool for special promos and some other tools. All right, let me skip on down because it's just listed the three types of plans and everything else. But what does Uscreen have to say about this? There are also payment processing fees for each transaction before the percentage taken by Patreon is calculated. That's everything about using Patreon to get support from your fan base. So here are some alternative ways to raise funds for your creative pursuits. So. Um, while Patreon is taking these these sort of percentages out, you know what I'm saying, with Uscreen, with you having your own hosting platform, and just think of, of Uscreen as being just a, another GoDaddy or uh, Bluehost or something like that, but they specialize in video hosting. That's who they are, and they do it so well. So now, without with that being said, now that I showed you Patreon, that side, I showed you uh, one case study here with Boho Beautiful. Let's take a look at the back end and actually have you see what you can actually do. So let's look at the customization. Like with the customization, you have uh, access to their coding back end, which is going to be a huge for me. This is a huge thing because this is where your true control is coming after. Because if you decide to bring in a web developer that actually knows how to use Liquid, which is the Shopify based um, coding that this is built upon, framework that this is built upon. Then you could really like you could really customize this and, and make it light years ahead of what other theme makers, what other U screen users are actually doing with their themes. You can actually make it so different, nobody would be able to tell that this is even built on a U screen platform at all. All right. 
So if they know um, even just basic CSS and JavaScript, they can even make some humongous changes. So they having access to the back end code base is, is important. Whereas, which I have a Vimeo OTT account as well, and I made this comparison. Um, the only thing you get with Vimeo OTT here is just a little text box for you to customize, have access to customize your CSS controls. And I get it. You know, they, they wanted to keep this just for the everyday average Joe who's going to be using this DIY, keep it very simple for them to have their own video hosting platform. But if you're really trying to go with this, go to distance with your video on demand streaming platform and really have the flexibility to grow as much as you want, then you screen is going to be your better bet because of the, with the extreme customization options. So the content, the type of content you can actually add, as soon as this page loads up, you can upload any uh, as much content as you want to. Um, it gives you back into your analytics. All right. So your distribution, if you want to get some apps for your actual, like your own app through your screen, you can actually do that as well. And it also gives you access to the, you know, like your, to some marketing. Um, they're giving you marketing tools to assist you with getting your revenue stream up to get in more leads to get bring in more traffic and it, it gives you like so much that's going to make you successful from the like from the very beginning the only thing that you actually need to have before you even decide to use this platform is an actual plan a plan of action that you can implement like swiftly and then be able to execute with you screen as fast as possible all right so uh, hopefully this was a very insightful and informative video for you in terms of understanding what you can actually do with you screen versus using patreon versus just staying on YouTube so if you're a youtuber and you're looking to migrate you're looking to take this these this audience because even if you have a million subscribers out of that million subscriber base you probably only have like maybe a hundred thousand two hundred thousand true loyal people that's consuming all the content that you're putting out there so if you want to take those subscribers and have them really support you then have them support you on your own platform on your own hosting website all right um that you can actually go with in terms of the controls and everything else now if you want to look at the pricing in terms of how much it's going to cost with you screen that's something we can actually talk about later on down the road i'll be honest with you right now I'm, I'm just having a standard plan just to do these trainers and everything. So I'm paying about maybe 99. I'm paying about $99 a month. So that's just to give you an idea right now. I don't have any of the packages up or anything like that. But just to have this, I have, I'm paying about $99 a month um, to in order for me to be able to have my own back end and do these trainers. So if you want to, even if, so if you're making a lot of money on YouTube already, and you want to bring somebody over $99 a month isn't going to be anything all right it's not going to be anything you could actually choose to actually pay a year's um, supply and they also do have other plans that you can actually use so let me log out of here because I know the question is going to be well well how much is it for you know some of the for the screen plan how much is that and that's something that we can actually look at here real quick all right so I chose the basic right now because all I'm trying to do is just go ahead and um just do little trainings that's that's really all that i'm trying to do and let me see here and depending on what you actually need you can actually work something out with them or maybe just pay a year's worth of what your you know what your um what your payment is going to be with them if you're trying to do an annual fee with them all right and you can also check out their full feature list to actually go through and see what your well what they offer and what's going to really fit your needs in terms of payments, plans, that sort of thing. All right, so if you're interested in joining Uscreen and, and becoming a customer with them, I have a link in the description. It is an affiliate link, so I always like to disclose that. Uh, because I'm advocating for the platform right now because I actually just did um, a video. I actually not not I'm not just did a video, but I actually had a client that was going to use Vimeo TT, but they decided to switch to Uscreen just because of the customization flexibility. And when I actually, as a developer, 
designer, when I actually got to actually utilize and, and go on the back end and build their platform for them, it blew me away in terms of how much they allow you screen allowed you to actually use in order to build your platform up and then to customize it and make the theme your own and make it feel like your own website. So I was really impressed with that. So it was a no brainer for me to just advocate and just kind of help promote this for other people who want to have their own content platforms. And that was a YouTuber that I actually had a, as a client who switched to Uscreen and decided to do that with their own platform. So they took their customers off because they, you know, there's most of the things that they were actually talking about. They didn't want to be limited to YouTube's limitations, rising limitations and, and those censorships and stuff. And they wanted to have control of their own audience and they wanted to see who their true supporters were. So that experience right there was like, man, this is great. I need to, you know, share the you screen gospel with other people. You know, <laughs> I need to go ahead and kind of spread the message in terms of what you screen can offer for other video creators out there in the YouTube sphere and, and the Vimeo sphere or wherever else. So, so anyway, that's going to be it for this video. Um, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below and we could talk some more from there. Thank you. Watch it again. Deshaun Johnson for DLJ Works. See y'all in the next video. God bless y'all. The Uscreen Quick Start course is now available for $24.99. This course is going to take you for all the way from the beginning of the introduction to uploading content, creating collections, all the way down to setting up and finalizing your payments and selecting your merchant accounts. Many people do not know where to start with Uscreen, even though Uscreen makes things very easy, but there are still questions there's still a process that people aren't really sure in terms of what they need to do to make sure they can make this process as seamless as possible. And Uscreen does a great job in providing resources, but this course is going to streamline all of that and take you from A to Z so you don't have to have so many questions and doubts and going through the trial and error of setting up your platform. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them at dljworksforyou at gmail.com and also leave me a review if you are finding this content be super helpful so that way we can get it out to more people who also can also use this course as well.